How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Wanted to give you guys a quick knife review today. The other day I did a, a video on all the knives I had and I completely forgot one or two of them. So I'm going to do today a review of the Cold Steel Bushman. Now, this is kind of a novelty knife. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's actually built like a shovel. It's got a hollow handle. You can put it on the end of a, a pole as a spear. The steel in it, it's not bad. It holds a pretty good edge. I didn't like the grind that was on it, so I just kind of ground it on a belt sander. And uh, not that I know one grind from the next all that well, but I will say it just, it seemed like there was a grind and a grind and a grind and I didn't really, it wasn't really my thing. I also took the black coating off most of it. Right off the bat, I can tell you that the plastic case that comes in sucks. The main problem with the original sheath, it's just a standard plastic sheath, kind of like a Mora, but it, it's a clip fit. You put the knife in it and it clips in, and it has a piece of plastic that clips into the sheath that forms the little bump that the knife clips into. It didn't take any amount of time before that little clip that retains the knife that fits into the plastic sheath before that clip fell out. And once that clip falls out, that knife goes in and out of that sheath with zero resistance. You could just pick it up and it'll bounce right out of the sheath. This is the case I made for it. And this case is made out of tie-down strap from a semi-truck. You see the rivets I used on this? They're actually roofing nails. I took and drove the nails through two plies of uh, ratchet strap, tie-down strap, and I put a washer over each one clipped the nail off and then peened down the end of the nail so it filled out and held the washer in place. I also put a little ferro rod holder in it too. So if you were looking for a cold steel bushman you might as well figure on getting a different sheath or when you do get that sheath uh, epoxy that little clip piece in so it doesn't come out because once mine was gone the sheath was worthless. Now as you can see this little ferro rod that comes with it's been used quite a bit that ferro rod falls out of that handle almost as soon as you start to use it. So what I ended up doing with this one is I drilled a hole through the plastic and through the ferro rod, filled that full of epoxy and put it all back together so it's epoxied from the rod to the handle and then there's two different holes that are full of epoxy that kind of help bind the two of them together. But this little ferro rod, there's nothing wrong with it. It does work just fine. Just don't expect it to stay together without a little bit of attention. Figure on making yourself a sheath or modifying the one you get because it is going to fail. Figure on modifying this fire steel because it's going to fail. The handle is going to come off and it's going to need to be epoxied back on. So right off the bat, figure on those two things. Now the knife is uh, very basic. It's just one piece of metal. The handle on this knife is actually fairly comfortable because it's just a plain round handle. The blade, it's pretty good steel. I think it's kind of like the the Chinese equivalent of 1095. I think it's like S2 or something like that. I, I don't remember. I don't know if this knife is more indestructible than just your standard full tang knife, but uh, they kind of they kind of sell it as it being indestructible. But I think it's going to be I think it's going to be every bit as strong as any other knife that's this thickness and full tang. I don't think you could break it and if you did break it you'd break any other knife that would be equivalent to it. Of course the real magic with this knife, the reason why they've sold I don't know a billion of these things is that you can make it into a spear. Is that a real selling point? Is that something that would make you want to buy this knife? Because let me tell you right now as far as the handle goes the handle is cold. Unless you wrap the handle with something, you're going to get sick of using it as soon as it gets chilly. Because it's just a cold handle. Funny, actually, that it's it's a cold steel knife. That's very apt. Because it is cold steel. As soon as it gets cool out, this handle's uncomfortable. But, the real gimmick to this thing is you can make a spear out of it. I actually saw this trick a little while ago on a different video where uh, a guy was reviewing this knife and he put the knife onto a handle with an eye screw. This is not my idea, but it's a good idea for sure because you don't need a screwdriver to make that happen. So let's say you've got a six foot pole, good solid wood, and you put this knife on the end of it. 
Is it worth buying this knife and carrying this knife so you can have a spear? Are you ever going to use a spear? Is a spear something that really even has any validity? One thing you do find is that as soon as you put this thing on the end of a pole, you realize what a, a formidable weapon this thing is. At night, in the evening, when it's quiet and it's getting dark, you could throw your knife that you're not going to need anymore anyway, on a pole, lean it up against your your area so it's ready to go and uh, it's a peace of mind because if you don't have a weapon and you're in big game country of some kind and uh, you do have one of these it's it's pretty easy to see how you could defend yourself with with a sharp point on the end of a long stick I don't even think you'd need to know anything to make this work as a as a useful weapon you just point it and you push it. I mean, that's kind of all there is to a spear. But I will say the uh, the idea is is interesting. It's kind of a novelty knife, but then again, it's fairly good quality. Uh, the the whole concept of it going on a spear makes it uh, makes it an actual usable weapon. If you couldn't defend yourself with a six foot spear and a razor sharp knife on the end, you probably can't couldn't defend yourself with a belt knife. That's for darn sure. I mean, the, the difference is night and day, you know, this is, right here you've got four inches of leeway between yourself and whatever you're defending yourself against. And uh, with this you'd have six feet. The honest truth is, uh, it's usable. You could defend yourself with this. So, that's pretty much my rundown of the Cold Steel Bushman. Kind of a novelty, kind of gimmicky, not very comfortable. It's cheap, you got to give it that. Fire steel will need to be fixed, the sheath will need to be fixed, or just replaced. But for 25 bucks, you know, it's 25 bucks worth of fun just to have one. Thank you guys for watching Bush Radical. My name's Dave Whipple, and be radical, eh? See you soon.